Xinjiang Medical University, established in 1956, is located in Urumqi City in West China. This is a unique comprehensive medical university, directly under the central government of China. It is approved by MCI for the last 15 years. This is the basic teaching building of Xinjiang Medical University. You can see in the back side. This is a lovely university. This is the oldest, one of the oldest universities in China and the biggest one in West China. Now we are sitting with one of our students in Xinjiang Medical University, Shibli Ahmed. He is from Alakno. He will introduce you and he will uh, tell us about the university for the future students who are, wants to come here. It will be a great advantage for the future students, whatever he will tell now. So, Shibli, can you introduce yourself please? I'm Sayyid Shibli Ahmed. I'm from Lucknow, India. I'm basically a student of second year MBBS. I started here in 2015 and this year I have completed my second year. Yeah. Now, basically what students would like to know, I mean to say the future students would like to know, first of all, what about the hostel facilities? Hostel facility is really good. The boys also is really marvelous. You will get a good big room, a spacious room, with the attached toilet and bathroom, which you no, don't get in India regularly. The bathroom and the facilities are really clean, and the hostel is also clean, and the atmosphere is good for the hostel area. So girls' and boys' hostels are different buildings? Yeah, they are totally different buildings. Okay. There is no mingling in, in the girls' okay. and boys' hostels. As we find in many universities in yeah. the same building, girls' and boys' hostels are there. Yeah. The floors are different. Anyway, yeah. so hostels we found it is really good for our future students. Yeah. And I would like to know another thing which our students want to, want, uh, want to ask us. Uh, what about the winter here? Winter. Winter is actually not that long. People say winter is long, but winter is short for, uh, for a short duration, for three to four months. Okay. The main winter is there. And here the things does not, does not stop. Here mm -hmm. the things goes on working, the classes will go, mm -hmm. go on, and everything will go on as per schedule. Mm -hmm. Your cafeteria, your classes, and your lab classes will go on as per schedule. There will be no stop and okay. no break. Uh, do you really face any big problem during winter? Big problem as in winter is none. Of the, other than that, there is a vast difference in the temperature. Yes. If you come from India, plain areas, or from you know not a hilly mm. area, then you will feel a vast change of differences. Mm. For that, it will take time for you to acclimatize, but you will. Okay. Uh, so a student should come with some special preparation, like they should buy some special jackets, or they will buy the jackets yeah, here. It's better to buy jackets and stuff over here. Why? Okay. Because you know the stuff is very really good material over here, and it's cheap rather than in India. Okay. And it is made according to the weather of yes, this the weather of this area. That's a very good point what we learned yeah. from Shibli that we should buy the jacket and shoe coming mm -hmm. after here, yeah. not in India. Yeah. Okay. Now any other point regarding the teaching, regarding the laboratory facilities, yeah. anatomy, dissection? The anatomy lab building is really very good. You can go it's 24 hours open, you can go any time in the day and you can study lab, you know anatomy over there. Laboratories are really perfect, very perfect, because the facilities is far ahead rather than in India. And teaching is also good. The teacher teaches you in English and they can converse you. It's like the more you grab, the more you will get. You have to go into the laboratory, you have to go into the research, you have to go into the lab, you yes. have to go to the teacher's office again and again to know more. Because teacher will have a limit to how much they have to teach you. Mm. But if you want to learn more, you have to try more. Attendance is very strict here? Very strict over here. You have to... 90%? Not 90%, but it is like minimum 70, 70 to 80% attendance okay. should be there. Okay. And the hours of absence are calculated. If you okay. have more than 50 Subject hours... Wise. Subject wise. Subject yes. wise. If you have more than 50 hours of absence in 4 months, then you are barred from giving the examination. Yes, exactly. okay, 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 okay. That's a good step. Good step yeah. the university has taken. Yes. We appreciate it. Yes. Strictness it must be there. Strictness must be done for you know, local students. And because the local students and the bigger students are both having the same sickness. Why right. shouldn't we not have? Obviously, yes. This is the first affiliated hospital of XJMU. First and second affiliated hospitals are located inside the campus. In total XJMU has six affiliated hospitals, containing 5,707 beds and three non-affiliated hospitals. Furthermore, with the support of more than 40 hospitals for medical practice, located all around the Xinjiang region, the XJMU offers medical apprenticeship in various fields, with advanced research opportunities, which has been benefiting our students substantially. OPD of Xinjiang Main Surgical and Pathological Building 
At present, XJMU specializes in performing liver transplants, in vitro fertilization, lung transplants, heart transplants, kidney transplants, coronary artery bypass grafting, bone marrow transplants, PTCA, or percutaneous translational coronary angioplasty, and all other difficult operations, equal to international standards. Backside, you can see the girls' hostel of Xinjiang Medical University. This is one of the very few universities in China where boys' and girls' hostels' buildings are different. In most of the universities, you will find in the same building boys' and girls' hostels are there, but only in Xinjiang, Xi'an, and few other universities, you will get girls' and boys' dormitories at different buildings. This is the boys' hostel for international students. This building is of 14 floors. Both double sharing and single sharing rooms are available. Single sharing rooms are given to students only from second year. Rooms are attached with toilet, with 24 hours hot water, separate beds, separate study table, separate armorer, and air conditioner, and room heater. Foreign students are not allowed to stay outside campus during the whole course. A range of shops, for daily needs of the students, just opposite to the hostel building. Bank inside campus, for the benefit of our students. Mobile company inside the campus, just beside the library of Xinjiang Medical University. Here you can see the library of Xinjiang Medical University. <laughs> Anything you want to say to the future students yeah. that will be helpful for them? I mean, they have to prepare their mind for the kind of sickness they will face here. And the security and the rules they have to abide in China. The rules are all already there, but they have to abide. And any other message to the students? Come over here with prepared mind that you have to struggle for six years and study a lot to crack MCI. Because the main purpose of coming over here is to become a doctor and then cracking MCI. Until unless you will crack MCI, then you are not a doctor. Come over here with a prepared mind, with a prepared soul that you have to work hard for six years as in India. You are coming over here only to study, not yes. for other things. That is yes. the foremost yes. thing you must keep in mind. Yes. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.
statue of one of the founders of this university. First Laboratory of Xinjiang Medical University Main Administrative Building of Xinjiang Medical University Xinjiang Medical University is also recognized as one of the largest colleges in terms of international education in China. Initialized in 1992, the International Education Program, in English medium, began to recruit foreign MBBS students, in a large scale, most of who came from, India, Pakistan, Nepal, Bangladesh, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, Russia, Tajikistan, United Kingdom, Sudan, Kazakhstan, Mongolia and Korea. Xinjiang admits 100 new overseas students every year. At present, 860 overseas students are studying for their bachelor's, master's and doctorate degree at Xinjiang. Students from all countries are all warmly welcomed to Xinjiang Medical University. Xinjiang Medical University is located in Urumqi City, in the beautiful province of Xinjiang, in West China. This place is very near to India by air distance.